Welcome to my channel. I'm Noemi from Pigeon Art and today we are in my front room because, well, my studio is currently being used as a work from home office. So it's now a soldering station and my uh, shelves that are usually behind me in my videos are now storage for all the raw parts. Uh, if you don't know, I'm a solderer and I work in manufacturing uh, and also Sydney is currently in a lockdown. It's been going for all of the month of July and I'm hoping that by the time this video comes out, because it should be coming out in a few weeks, it will be over by then, but who knows? So I'm set up in the front room for my filming. Today I didn't know what I was going to do because I don't have a studio to work in, but I decided that my watercolours will probably be the more portable thing for me to do and I didn't want to do another knitting video because by the time this comes out I would just have done one. I'm thinking I'll be painting one of the uh, photos that I took while overseas. I want to do this perspective piece. I know the uh, concept and the basics of perspective so you have a vanishing point which in this one will be like in the middle of that doorway there and all of all the vertical lines will stay straight and all the horizontal lines will actually end up at this um, vanishing point. The other challenge on here is just the picking up that texture of the stones and I think the lighting will be another interesting thing to try and pick up. This was at a castle in um, Wales by the way if you're wondering what, uh, what this image is of. With watercolours a really good thing to do if you, if you can if you have painter's tape is to use painter's tape and tape it to your board like I have done because watercolours will warp the paper a lot of the time. This isn't a very thick paper, so it probably will try and warp it and this is a good way to keep it as flat as possible while you're working on it. Now if you hadn't noticed, I'm not much of a perfectionist. I, one of my favourite lines on this channel is, that's good enough. Perspective is definitely a perfectionist's game. Alright, sorry I had to um, stop filming, my phone was running low on battery. I've done some more line work and I think we're pretty close to um, having something I can work with. I'm going to start by filling in the dark bits so I should be a bit easier to follow along. Go with that light colour there and fill in that whole area except for there because that's sort of the same tones. That's more of a grey colour so I'll try and get that in there. I 
So, so far I've done a lot of colour blocking, sort of working out what tones. So I've gone for a more yellowy cream there, more yellowy stone, because that's what the colour there is. I've left the light colours white and I've darkened the areas that are darker. Uh, it's just to give me a really good idea of what's going on in this picture because there's so much going on. So it's a good way to start.
Okay, so a couple of things. One, this is not the best paper, and you can see I keep making little peels everywhere, so that's annoying. Two, any watercolorists out there are probably wondering what the hell is my technique and if I haven't, if I'm even following a plan because <laughs> I just see things and I, I feel like I need to change this bit up here with a little bit of the green. So yeah, I don't really have a technique and I don't really, I just keep adding layers until I'm happy with it basically. Not the best way to go about watercolors. guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed that if you like the video feel free to like and subscribe if you didn't don't like or subscribe and we'll see you next time bye